गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम राजेंद्र प्रसाद एंड यू आर एट प्रेजेंट व्यूइंग माय चैनल राज फोटो टेक इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल लर्न अबाउट द हाई पास शार्पनिंग एवरी डिजिटल इमेज नीड्स शार्पनिंग दिस इज नेसेसरी बिकॉज मोस्ट डिजिटल कैमरा सेंसर्स यूज एंटी एलाइजिंग फिल्टर विच स्लाइटली ब्लर्स द इमेज टू रिड्यूस द चांसेस ऑफ मूरी अकरिंग इन द इमेज this slight blurring causes a slight loss of detail in an image to correct for the blurring digital image needs sharpening photoshop offers dedicated filters for sharpening images such as smart sharpen and unsharp mask so users generally use them but there is another easy way to sharpen your images with a filter that is not even found in the list of sharpen filters this is called high pass filter the high pass filter is a bit easier to use than the unsharp masks now i am going to give you an information which will amaze you that sharpening is an illusion actually you can't sharpen an image sharpening works by increasing contrast along the edges of your image increasing contrast along the edges makes the light side of the edge lighter and dark side of the edge darker your brain then interprets the increased contrast as sharpening for demonstration of high pass sharpening i have already opened an image which you are seeing on the screen open the layer panel if it is not already open by pressing the shortcut f7 first duplicate the background layer by pressing control plus j now zoom in to view the image at 100% by pressing control plus 1 you need to zoom 100% so that you can see the detail of image clearly open the filter menu and click on the other filter and in the fly out menu select high pass you can see the entire image has turned a flat gray color the high pass filter dialog box is very simple to use with just a preview window and a radius slider below it let us look how the high pass filter works high pass filter works by filling the entire image with flat neutral gray it then looks for the edges of the image and highlights them by making the light side of the edge lighter and the dark side darker none edge areas remain flat gray the radius value affects the width of the edge highlighting by controlling the number of pixel extending outwards from the edge that should be included and highlighted as a part of the edge since the goal of image sharpening is to increase contrast only among the edges we want to keep the widths of the highlighting to a minimum for best sharpening results choose a radius value that is larger enough to highlight the edges while still keeping those highlights as close to edge as possible the exact radius value you need will depend both on the size of your image and on the amount of detail in general values between 2 and 5 pixel work best for this image i will lower the radius down to 3 pixels and at this lower setting the edge highlighting is much more subtle it is still visible this is the result you should look for when you are done click okay to close the high pass filter dialog box you can now sharpen the image just by changing the high pass filters blend mode in the layers palette select the blending mode drop down menu and set it to overlay your image will regain the color and you can toggle the sharpening layer off and on by pressing the i icon to compare the image with or without sharpening as i am showing you you may try other blend modes that are overlay soft light hard light and linear light the two most commonly used blend modes for sharpening images with high pass filter are overlay and soft light if overlay still produces less sharpening then you need try the hard light or linear light blend modes both will result in even a stronger sharpening linear light gives a strongest i am showing their effect to you 
Once you have chosen a blend mode, you can then fine tune the amount of sharpening by adjusting the opacity of the high pass filter. Opacity slider is at the right side of the blending mode. Lower the opacity to reduce the sharpening effect as I am showing you on the screen. Now obviously, we don't want to sharpen the whole photograph. We don't want to sharpen her face and her skin because that doesn't look good. We want the skin soft. But we need to sharpen the rest of the photo. For this, we will use the layer mask. Create a layer mask by clicking the create layer mask icon at the bottom of the layer panel. Grab a brush by hitting B. Select a soft edge brush. Set the size and softness of your brush as needed. Reset the foreground and background colors by hitting D in the keyboard. Press the X key to set the foreground to black. Now paint with black color to the areas where you want to hide the sharpening. In our case, the eyes, nostrils, bro eyebrows, mouth need to be sharpened. But you don't want to sharpen her skin. This is called selective sharpening. The high pass filter allows a lot of flexibility in sharpening photos and it is simple to use. It is a great way to give your images a sharper, crisper look before uploading or printing. Give it a try. Meet you again in the next tutorial. Bye for now. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Kindly subscribe and like our video channel for more interesting video tutorials. If you want to get notification about our upcoming tutorials, kindly press the bell icon. See you again in the next tutorial. Goodbye and have a nice day.